So with the new season upon us, there'll be a new series of seasonal mods, things that you need to get out of your artifact, and obviously powering up for the raid. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the easiest ways to level up your artifact and prepare not only for the raid, but also to get the artifact mods, because the artifact mods will be how you really unlock the power of Arc 3.0. First, I'm going to go over briefly how XP and bonuses work. So if you are familiar with that portion of the game, just fast forward to the later chapters where I talk about what is the fastest, most efficient way to level up. Getting XP in the game happens from doing anything, from playing activities, from killing enemies, anything like it will give you XP. However, if you want to level up fast, let me explain how some of the bonuses can help you get to where you want to get to. So first off, bonuses in Destiny are done in a multiplicative fashion. What I mean by that is, if you look for instance on your character and you look at your ghost. So a lot of you are gonna to want to equip your blinding light XP bonus, which gives you a 12% bonus to XP. How that works is, is that's basically 112% of every XP you get in the game. That's what it will be instead of just like the normal amount, it'll be 112%. Now you can get additional bonuses that multiply that. So another thing you'll notice as far as bonuses is when you level up your seasonal pass, you will get XP bonuses up to 32% over on your XP. And that actually taps out at 86 levels on your seasonal pass. Now, when you take that with the other thing we talked about, which is 12%, it's not just those added, it's the multiplied. So if you took 1.12 times 1.32 at that level, that is going to be the bonus that you get to every time you turn a bounty or play something within the game. The additional thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is shared wisdom. Shared wisdom is a buff that you get when you're in a fire team. And again, that goes up again on the seasonal pass because you see you have the fire team XP bonus and you have XP bonus. The XP bonus is what you get just being in the game. The fire team is what you get by being in a, a higher level fire team. So whoever has the highest level in that fire team and you're in an, an area, not like an orbit, but you're in the tower or a location, you're gonna get up to 8%, which would be 1.08 multiplier for your XP. So really as far as how bonuses work, if you do all those together, if you max all those out, which is gonna be about 86 levels on your seasonal pass, you're gonna get about 160% bonus to XP for being in a fire team and for grinding up your seasonal pass. So as you go along, you wanna keep track of that sort of thing because it's important because it allows you to deal with your bounties more efficiently. So that's why later in the video when I talk about the order you wanna do this in, it's extremely important. The other thing you're gonna notice in seasons is you have seasonal ranks, but you also have seasonal challenges. These seasonal challenges are the simplest and quickest way to get XP in the game. So if you notice this one, this one is an XP plus. There's XP, XP plus, XP plus plus, and XP plus plus plus. Those go from 12,500 to 100,000 XP. Getting all of these without doing anything, bounties, anything else, you will easily get over 100 rank in your seasonal pass, which will get you basically everything you want from within the season. So these are the most efficient and quickest ways. And typically they're gonna be surrounded around a few areas. You're either gonna be doing stuff in Gambit, stuff in Crucible, stuff in Strikes, or you'll be doing stuff in a seasonal activity or a specific planet. That's typically, and then they'll throw in some extra ones like trials and raids and stuff like that. But for the most part, your core activities are how you're gonna cover everything. So again, getting your bonuses, those multipliers, and then doing these and doing these seasonal challenges are gonna be a really quick way to get your XP up. The other thing are gonna be bounties. So if we talk about bounties, those are in your quest. And in your quest area, you have a maximum of 63 things you can hold at any one time. Now, obviously in this season, if you've saved up, you can save up some of those. I would never save up more than 60 or up to 63 because you always have a quest or something that comes in the next season. What you'll notice on some of these is some of these say XP++ and some of these say XP+. Your XP++ are limited to a limited number of bounties that you can get from activities. The Those give you 12,000 XP. Your daily bounties that you get that are XP+, those are 6,000 XP. And then you have repeatables that are 4,000. And you can get those and kind of grind on those 
Um, but again, those are the lowest amounts. So when you're saving and doing bounties, that's something to keep in mind. Most of those bounties then are against core activities. Most of those bounties are going to be tied to destination activities. So you have your core activities, your Vanguard, your Gambit, your Crucible. And you'll notice in there, when you go into those destinations, you'll see that they have a yellow icon on them. So first off, you can get bounties against these. The other thing you'll notice is each of these have a weekly milestone, like complete a certain number of Gambit matches, do a certain amount of things in Vanguard Ops, do certain things in Nightfall. You'll see any of these, they're scattered all over the system. These yellow milestones are called weekly milestones, and for each of those, you get another 12,000 XP. So really, what you can see is you have your, your things you put on, like your Ghost Mod, you have your things within your Seasonal Pass, but at the same time, you can be going to destinations, doing bounties, and also getting your weekly milestones. Those will also give you your Seasonal Challenges. So the big thing is, it's about playing the game but it's about playing the game in the correct way, which is what I will go into in a little bit later in this video, but I wanted to give you an update, kind of an idea of how XP works. So when I get to that explanation, it'll make sense in your head on how it works and how this stuff will multiply and give you the quickest way to level up your artifact. Okay, if you're at this point in the video, I assume you know everything about XP. If you don't and you know how multipliers work and what sort of things you need to do to get the most out of your XP, please go back to further at the beginning of my video and you can go over the details there. But if you're at this point, you're trying to figure out like how do we get as many of those unlocks and how do you get your artifact to a certain level in your seasonal pass as quickly as possible. Let me talk through that. As a reminder, your seasonal pass is your quickest way to get XP in the game. I know there's all sorts of other ways you can do it. You can grant up bounties. Those are things you should do last because the seasonal XP that you get your, from everything from Seasonal Challenge XP to XP++ plus 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 goes from 12,500 XP to 100,000. The other key to that is here's from the previous season. You'll notice that most of the XP challenge that you have for the seasons are around the seasonal event, okay? They're going to be around playing Gambit, they're going to be around playing Strikes, and they're going to be playing Crucible, and typically doing stuff on a particular planet that week. That's typically how most weeks work. They throw in some extra things, but week one is definitely going to work like this. And so, again, these challenges give you more XP than you can possibly get by just playing the game, or by actually going in and putting bounties. But, while you're doing these, because they're core activities, the other thing that you can be doing is while you're doing that, Obviously, in these core activities, if you look at them, if you do a certain amount of activity, so for instance, in this case, I have one more match if I played in control for this week, I would get a weekly challenge. That weekly challenge gives me 12,000 additional XP right there. Then, if you go and you look at your quests, and obviously I have quests saved up for my last season, but if you bring pull up some of these crucible challenges you do at the same time, those are going to give you 6,000 XP for every one of those. So, if you do all of that, if you do your seasonal challenges, if you focus them around those core activities, and obviously you have to do the mission that starts everything because that's how you get the artifact. If you don't have that, you're not going to be, and again, do that first, because if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to level up. So at this point, you've done your seasonal uh, event, or you've done the actual first mission, you have your artifact, you have your ghost shell with blinding light on, because again, remember in Destiny, all of the bonuses are, are multiply each other. And again, if you're not clear on that, go to earlier in this video. At that point, if you do that, and you play Crucible, Gambit, and Strikes, and again, you play the right things, the they do the challenges in the right way, you're going to, at that point, without doing anything else, okay, you're going to get about to level 16. That's what I found from doing this last season. I actually sat down and tracked that down. So that's going to get you the seventh unlock. You're like, seventh unlock, who cares? Because you got to get to at least 14 to get to the last thing. Uh-uh-uh. Something's changed this season. Let's talk about that. In the most recent TWAB, one of the things you'll notice is that in the table that they put together that has all the unlocks, you'll notice something strange. Uh, normally, to get to the last row now, you have to get to 14. You'll see it says you have to get to 10. So because of that, to get all the mods that you possibly need to do all the builds, again, you can get all the mods completely. You only need to get about 12 or 13 potentially to do that. So that lowers the bar right there. So if you go in, do the seasonal challenge like I talked about, do it and basically make sure you're paying attention to seasonal challenges so you get the bonuses and the XP you need, you're going to get to the seventh unlock and level 16 pretty quickly. So at that point, you're going to have a good baseline of not only your, your individual XP bonus, 
your fire team XP bonus, right? And everything else you need to kind of, again, multiply those to get the most XP possible. And again, that only takes a few hours to do that. If you do that, if you've saved up enough bonuses like this, enough quests, right? All you have to do really at that point is just go into your first character, get into a fire team. Hopefully you're the highest person. Well, actually, hopefully someone's even higher than you at that point. But go in, get that XP bonus, turn on all your quests, right? Again, make sure you're at a planet or you can't be in orbit. So you have to be in a planet. You have to be in, you know, the tower or something like that. Make sure you see that shared wisdom. Once you do that, then what you're going to want to do is you're want to, going to go in and on your second character, go in and turn your bounties again. On your first character, it's going to take you 25. On your second character, that's going to take you 35. And on your third character, it's going to take you 45. Again, this is based on saving, again, the, the primary XP plus and XP plus plus bounties from last season. If you don't have that, you're going to have to play the game more and you're going to have to uh, put bounties in. If you do at that point, you're at the 12th unlock. So you're only like, you've already gotten to the last row. You can start playing around with some of those other mods that you like. You know, again, stuff that's your class item, that's the best stuff for finishing, for basically doing the builds that we're going to want to do. And you're pretty close to getting anything possible outside of just, you know, some of the extra uh, artifact mods that really we just use to fill in. So at this point, you're going to have everything you need, right? You're going to have the unlocks you need to get the base mods you need with the class mods to go ahead and start playing around with Arc 3.0. I think Bungie wants us to get in there and kind of play with it a little quicker this season. And you'll have everything you need to be raid ready and to be doing those specific mods that you need for those builds. That's really it, guys. It's really simple this season. It, it seems like Bungie's making the, the barrier entry for players a little easier. Obviously, if you haven't saved all the bounties like I have, it's going to take you a bit longer. But even to be honest with you, it's not going to take you more than a day of just moderate play to kind of get through that and get ready. And at that point, you can kind of relax, get ready for the raid, start doing the builds. I'll be putting out some builds here shortly as we get through the uh, first week or so. But again, it'll allow you to get into it really quickly. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.